Lord, he says, he paid a debt he did not owe, and I owe the debt I could not pay. Amen. But have you heard the news? Amen. This of this pagan fool, by the shed blood that was shed on Calvary's cross, my friend. Hey, preacher, is that all the news you've got for me? But no, not only. Brother, listen, did he go to that cross and die? Hey, man, did you hear that three days later? Hey, hey man, listen, long about the first a day of the week, and as it begins to dawn, the scripture said that the women came to the tomb for the sepulchre, hey, man, to anoint the body of Jesus. And when they came, they saw that the stone was rolled away. And as they came up to the tomb, the angel of the Lord said, Why seek ye the living among the dead? For he is not here. He has risen. Come and see the place where the Lord lay my friend. I will hold my shoe. Amen. But had I been there that day, amen. Listen, that would have been some pretty good news. Amen. Listen, we had pretty much all the disciples. Amen. Listen, saw him die, said Judas. Amen. Listen, and Luke it says they followed him. Amen. Hey, listen, they watched him far off. Amen. Yeah. Hey, so they saw him die. Amen. Hey, these women saw him buried. Amen. Hey, now they're getting to the tomb. Amen. Hey, there's the angel with the news. He's not here, but he is risen. Amen. Yeah. Hey, said, Go tell my disciples and Peter. Amen. Hey, and I go before them into Galilee. And so they come to Peter. And the disciples there and said, They've taken away the Lord. And I don't know where they laid him. I'm telling you, my friend, hey, when Peter got up and run, yep. him and John run to the tomb, and John stopped outside, and Peter went inside, yep. hey, and then listen to what the scripture records is, that he saw the great clothes, and over in the corner, hey, and the light could neatly folded, and lying about itself, hey, and Jesus was sending Peter the news, what news preacher, I'm coming back, he told him before he left here, brother John, he says it's expedient for you yeah. that if I go away, for if I go not away, the comforter, he will not come. But I'll go to my father, yeah. and he'll send you another comforter. And when he comes, he'll testify of me. Yeah. Can I tell you today? Amen. As he left to serve, amen. He's just sitting up in the heaven. Amen. He told him to go preach the gospel. Amen. Baptize the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost. And they just stood there. Yeah. And the angel again said, Hey, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye here gazing into the heaven for the same Jesus that yeah. you see taken up? He's coming back again in like manner. Oh, glory to God. They had to make a mountain shout. Amen. But as they ascended up, Jesus, amen, they went back to Jerusalem and came into the upper room and began to pass and to pray. You say, preacher, what were they? They mean, listen, waiting on. They was waiting on some news for heaven. If you have a to have my prayer. And the Bible said all of a sudden, oh, man, listen, on one day there was 120. They gathered together in the upper room. And they had all things common. They were of one mind and of one accord. And the Bible said that there came a sound of a mighty rushing wind. Amen. Yeah. Hey, listen, and the Spirit of God. Amen. Yeah. Hey, listen, came and shook up on him, or bowed upon him. Amen. Yeah. Hey, in forms of cold and tongues of fire. Amen. Hey, they all begin to speak with a new tongue. Amen. Hey, can I tell you today, my friend? Amen. Hey, the news wasn't that. Hey, Amen. Listen, and that they were speaking. Amen. Hey, listen in those languages. Amen. Hey, what the news was. The promise is now fulfilled. Amen. Yeah. Hey, that comforter has come. And so now they're saying, surely uh, these fellows are drunk. It's only uh, for the third hour of the day. Yeah. There is no reason for them to act like this. Uh, hey, man, listen, Peter stood up. Uh, hey, man, said, boys, did you hear the news? Uh, hey, man, this is that which was spoken uh, by the prophet Job. Uh, in the last days I will pour out my spirit uh, upon all flesh. Uh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Uh, your old men shall see visions. Uh, and your young men shall see dreams. Yeah. Uh, can I tell you today? Uh, hey, man, this bunch running around. Uh, they saying that God just now doing that. Uh, hey, man, listen, come along too late to spread that kind of news to me. Uh, yeah. Brother, I've already looked. Uh, hey, man, in the book. Uh, and the book tells me when it happened. Uh, hey, man, listen. Uh, 
left some 1900 and some years ago. You say, preacher, is that all the good news you got? No. A mighty friend. Can I tell you, have you heard the news? Remember the same Jesus you see going away. John said, Behold, I was on the Isle of Patmos on the Lord's day. And I was in the Spirit. Amen. And I was called up. Amen. Into heaven. And I heard the voice as a trumpet. And immediately the door was open in heaven. Amen. And I was there. He said, I saw things unlawful for a man to utter. Can I tell you, my friend? Amen. In John, or Paul wrote it in 1 Corinthians 15. He said, I would not have you in your brethren concerning them which are asleep. Amen. Listen, there's a fire right over that brush right there where that opening is. There's a cemetery right there. Amen. Listen, them folks cannot hear my voice. Amen. That are planted in the heart of that earth. But there's coming time, Brother Ronnie, yeah. and all them that are in that graveyard. Yeah. And then we'll hear the voice of the Lord. Yeah. Some will arise to everlasting shame yeah. and contempt. Some will arise to everlasting yeah. life. Yeah. What are you saying, preacher? I'm saying I've got a little home down here and a big home over there. Yeah. And I have not oh. seen, here have not heard, the Lord of God, and neither have it entered the heart of man, yeah. but what God has in store. Amen. For thee to love him. But the right went on to say, but the Spirit has revealed unto us. Amen. What are you saying, preacher? But John's bar record. And he said, I saw the new city, the holy Jerusalem, that descending from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride and born of her, her husband. How can I tell you? There's never a more beautiful woman. Amen. That a bride in a white, a long wedding room. Amen. That's made herself ready. You say, preacher, what's that got to do with me? I'm saying today's a day. You need to make yourself ready. The Lord may come tonight. I realize some prophesied. Amen. Listen, that he would come yesterday. Amen. Listen, I knew he wasn't going to come. Why is it? Because he said so. But I'm telling you, he might come before we get off this mountain. He might come before I finish this sermon. Amen. What a thought. Amen. To be preaching. Brother Ronnie, the whole set blue. And then to hear that voice and that trumpet and lose all gravitation and be called up. Amen. With the Lord to meet him in the air and to be with him forever and forever. Amen. But John saw that city. Amen. He said, Walls are made of jasper. He said, Gates are made of pearl. John said, On the north, there's three gates. On the west, there's three gates. On the south, there's three gates. On the east, there's three gates. Amen. Listen, what are you saying? I mean, that you can come from every direction there. Amen. But can I tell you, there's only one way to get to that city. You might go in a different gate when you get there, but only one way to get to that city. And it's through my Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lamb of God that was slain before the foundation of the world. I said it again this morning in our Sunday school lesson. It blows my mind that God, before time began, Amen, listen, would take his son. Amen, listen, amen, and agree with him. And to go to an old rugged cross. Amen, for a rich like me. Amen, to be buried in the grave. Amen, and rise free. Amen. That's beyond my comprehension. And that God would love me. And can I tell you, amen, while we were yet sinners, the Christ dies for the ungodly. Why? That through his death, brother, we might have life and heaven. More abundantly today, amen, in the things of God. Amen. 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 I realize that some have taken that. I mean, they're t- they're lying in their pockets, amen, and yeah. pat people on the back. Amen. Said if you give to the ministry, God will give yeah. to you. I'm telling you today, my friend, if you'll get to the house of the Lord, amen. amen. Listen, not the crook today. Amen. amen. Listen, God will bless you. I realize there's some of them out there, they're genuine. They're in it for the right reason. Amen. Listen, but there's too many of them getting fat cats. Amen. Listen, wearing a thousand dollar suits and cufflinks. Amen. Listen, there's one, amen, down in Houston. Amen. Came from Charleston, West Virginia. Was as poor as poor could be. Amen. Talk about dirt poor. Amen. Now you look at me. Amen. Listen, and it's all about getting to your next level. Amen. To the next dimension in your life. And can I tell you, for me as a child of God, where my next dimension is at, whether it's on the sun kissed hills of glory, that's my that's my goal. I'm not trying to get any higher up here. When you 
he's saying, preacher, John said it like this. He said, I must decrease and he must increase. And I tell you today, I do desire a closer walk. I do desire more knowledge of the Word of God. I want God to open the door and then for me to preach his Word. Amen to every man, woman, boy, and girl. But can I tell you, brother, my ultimate goal is to hear him say, enter in, thou good and faithful servant. You've been faithful of a few things. Enter in joys of the Lord. Amen. 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 John saw. He said, I saw a sea as it was transparent glass before the throne of God. And I saw the throne. And around about the throne was a rainbow. And he that sat upon that throne was like a jasper and a sardine. You know what that tells me? Amen. It was so bright you couldn't behold. I'm telling you today, when you could put those two stones together, it's got to do nothing. Amen. But reflect light from it. Can I tell you today? Amen. Listen, I believe Jesus is a superstar of all time. I believe that he'll outshine them all. Amen. Listen, they can brag on how good they are. How far they can run a ball. How far they can throw a ball. How far they can kick a ball. How far they can hit a ball. But can I tell you in the end, the greatest champion of all time. And it wasn't Muhammad Ali, but it was Jesus Christ, the Son of Almighty God that came and gave his life freely. And then on that cross, and then that whosoever will would come. And then take the water of life freely. I don't have to live a defeated life. I don't have to live a life discouraged. And because he bore my burden. And then Brother John, and I'm telling you, he said, I come, and then listen, and that my peace may abide upon you. Amen. I worry about people that don't tell me they're Christians and never have a peaceful day. I worry. We, I'm, well, I'm going to say, I worry, I'm, just, I'm concerned. I'm deeply concerned, amen. You say, preacher, are you judging? No, because you didn't get what I got. Right. Amen. If they didn't get what I got. Amen. Amen. Because what I got is joy and speaking full of glory. You say, preacher, you ain't got to get all the time. No. Amen. Listen. When my heart is overwhelmed, it'll lead me to the rock that's higher than I. And here's the thing about the rock. Amen. That I stand on. Brother, it's unshakable. It's unmovable. Hey, listen. Though heaven and earth shall pass away, the word of the Lord shall stand forever. John saw. He saw the bride. Amen. He saw the bride of Christ standing with there with white robes. The fine linen. They're fine linen and their white robes are the righteousness of the saints. They sang a song. Amen. What was the song picture? Amen. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb. Glory to God. I don't have a leg to stand on in front of God. Amen. Amen. But I got a cross. Amen. Yeah, listen, I don't have a name. Amen. But God had exiled, he highly exalted him and given him a name above every name. Amen. That if I'll confess him with my mouth and believe in my heart, I can be saved today. Amen. But all that reject that name, all that turn away from that name, will suffer the wrath and judgment of God. Why is that, preacher? Because you reject Jesus Christ. Amen. Not to the footer, but Jesus Christ. You place your trust in the things of the world. Amen. Listen, you sow to the flesh, you reap corruption. But if you'll sow to the Spirit the things of God, you reap life everlasting today. Amen. Did you hear the news? First judgment comes. Amen. Amen. People say, man, I'm sick of judgment. Hold on. Yeah. Amen. It's on the begun. Preacher, where did judgment begin? In the house of God. Amen. How did it begin? By the word of God. Let me tell you how the, how the judgment's going to end too. By the word of God. Amen. Amen. And the books are open. I don't know about you. Amen. But there's 66 books that contain in this Bible that I hold right here. And the books will be open. And every man shall be judged out of the books. I'm telling you today, this Bible will be for you or against you. And I want it on my side. Two women crying yet to me, and that's not, that's not homosexual behavior. No. 
the grind of meal at the beginning. Come on. Right. We're grinding grain and corn. Yeah. They've been making meal out of tonight. Feed your family. One taken, one left. Amen. Two standing in the field, one taken, one left. Yeah. There'll be a lot of mothers that day yeah. holding their precious babies and all of a sudden, boom. The baby's gone. Amen. The mother left behind. Amen. Yeah. Husband laying in the bed beside the wife. One taken.